Hello friends, this is Abby Jo and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to use up my big bowl of lemons that I recently received in the mail from a friend. Let's get busy in the kitchen. I will be multitasking throughout this video. That's how I get a lot done. Honestly, I love days where I can get in the kitchen and get a ton accomplished and enjoy the fruit of my labor throughout the week and even the months ahead. The lemons are so juicy. All I had to do was roll them on the counter and squeeze them by hand and I got a ton of juice from each one. I could not find my juicer so I just did it by hand and used a fine mesh strainer. I still have some of my kitchen supplies packed. I am preparing the juice and the grated rind for making a big batch of lemon curd to can and make a lemon curd pie. I made crust yesterday and froze it so I could bake it today while I was making the lemon curd. All the recipes that you see me making today are on my blog at ForgottenWayFarms.com and are all printable. I'm mixing up the ingredients for the curd in the mixer and then I will add it to the butter on the stove top and cook it until it is very thick. Making lemon curd to can is such a treat. I love pulling it off the pantry shelf to add to our scones, pancakes, or toast. It's like opening a jar of sunshine, and the tart sweetness is a favorite of mine. I definitely get into the zone when I'm making multiple things in the kitchen, and I often forget Daniel's filming me. The pie crust has to be blind baked before I can add the lemon curd and later the Swiss meringue.
Canning is very addictive for me. I love filling jars with beautiful colored foods and seeing them all lined up on my shelves. As the lemon curd pie cools, it gets much thicker and sets, and then I also put it in the fridge to chill. I'm going to process the lemon curd in the jars for 20 minutes in my canner. Daniel is making us a spicy chicken salad and lettuce boats as a little lunch break, and I'm going to be washing and cleaning up. Getting the kettle on for tea, because when you cook all day, you have to take some tea time respites. I'm using my KitchenAid bowl as a double boiler over another pot of water. It works perfect for making Swiss meringue. You know when it's time to beat the Swiss meringue by the texture. It should be silky smooth in your fingers with no grit of the sugar in it. Then I just beat with the mixer until it makes stiff peaks. I love adding the lemon zest. I just cannot resist.
The pie goes into the oven once more to brown the Swiss meringue. I had some Swiss meringue and lemon curd left, so I decided to make my yogurt cake out of my cookbook and use the leftover Swiss meringue and lemon curd to make another lovely lemony dessert. Baking is definitely a creative outlet for me and I get immense joy out of making food for my family. I also really find it satisfying to use up whatever resources I have on hand to make as many things as I can out of it, like these lemons. Whenever I find a large amount of vegetables or fruit on sale, I always like to look at what can I make or preserve with my bounty. It's a great way to stretch food and get your creative juices flowing. Hey everyone, I just wanted to share this with you that a really amazing way to support this channel is by simply clicking the like button. It's a great way to tell YouTube that they need to share this video. And another lovely way to support us is simply by subscribing. And you can also leave us a comment below telling us that you hit that like button and that you subscribed. Thanks so much.
Lemonade isn't just for the summertime. Its tang can really wake up winter taste buds. Also warmed, lemonade is a delightful warm winter drink. Hello friends, you have seen today that we have worked through a huge bowl of lemons and not left any to waste. We made lemonade, we made vinegar, lemon solution for cleaning. I have been drying lemons. Earlier in the video you saw me baking with the lemons by having the cake and the pie and the beautiful lemon curd that we canned. And so today I thought it would be a perfect time to talk to you guys about buy me a coffee. Buy Me A Coffee is a simple and meaningful way to support creators like us. So basically it's just really a virtual tip jar and it's for creators like us to help to give us more time to create good content for you guys that you love and enjoy and help support us in practical things like equipment and paying for the music and all that goes into making these beautiful YouTube videos for you. Danielle and I really love making videos for you guys. This has just become a passion of ours and we're really excited. We want to just grow this channel and ways that you can do that is sharing these videos, sharing these videos, liking these videos, commenting, which so many of you guys comment and leave the most loving comments. I enjoy them and I read them all. And another way is to go to buy me a coffee and leave a little tip for us to you know, support our channel and that is another way, but we love all the support that you guys give us and we just appreciate you guys so much. I encourage you guys, go check out the link and see how you guys can link arms with us so that we can produce more cozy, beautiful, life-giving content for the home. By clicking the link in the description below, it will take us to the landing page and there you'll have two options, either membership or support. When you click the support button in the right hand corner, it will take you to buy Abby Jo a coffee. That's where you can actually buy us a coffee and leave a little nice note in the corner. The other option is to click the membership button where we have three tiers, Forgotten Way Friend, Producer, and Executive Producer. We desire to cultivate a community that embraces slow living, the home, and all that comes with that. By the end of the day, my big bowl of lemons had made two treats, lemon curd pie and lemon berry yogurt cake. I canned several pints of lemon curd. I dried lemon slices that we will later use for our tea, and I made a lemon cleaner. The last thing that I used the lemons for today was making lemon berry lemonade. The leftover lemons I juiced and added to my lemon juice bottle and put in the fridge. We both really admire people that work hard on whatever craft that they love, and today he was showing me a book on artisan bread. After a long day in the kitchen, I needed to get outside for some fresh air. I went for a walk with my little ones and brought along a jar of lemonade for a fun treat. As always, thank you so much for spending time with me today. All the recipes that you saw me making today are on the blog. 
ForgottenWayFarms.com and they're printable. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.